Hey, welcome to Catholic Breakfast. We're doing the 12 days of Christmas where I give to you one great coffee shop in Phoenix and one saint that the coffee shop reminds me of. So today I give you, in honor of the seventh day of Christmas, a great coffee shop in Phoenix called Grinders. Now Grinders is in kind of the north central part of the Valley of the Sun. Here's what I love about Grinders. They're old school, and they remind me of the saint, St. Ignatius of Antioch. So you walk into Grinders, super wonderful coffee shop. It's old school in, in, in this way at the very least. They've got like these old fashioned grinders, like the wooden grinder with the iron thing. You put the coffee beans and grind them up, right? And um, Ignatius of Antioch, old school. He's what we call one of the apostolic church fathers. So he's, he's a saint who lived in the first slash second century. He was a disciple of John the Apostle. I mean, that's old school. That's really old school. Now, let me take it one step further, though. Back to grinders. So they emphasize that you grind up the coffee bean to get this wonderful thing that we call coffee. You can't really get coffee unless you grind up the bean. Now, Ignatius of Antioch died by being killed by wild beasts. So it was, you know, crime to be a Christian. He was fed to these wild beasts. But here's the thing. He wrote a letter to his disciples, and he famously said, let me be ground by the teeth of wild beasts so that I may become Christ's pure bread. Uh, sounds gory to us. I, t I totally realize that, and it is. The point is, you can't end up with this delicious coffee unless the coffee bean goes through the grinder, unless it experiences this kind of suffering. That's what Ignatius of Antioch got so well. And that's why I always think of Ignatius every time I see those coffee grinders. You know, the spiritual lesson is so clear. No matter what grinder I experience in my life, that the power of Christ can transform that into something really beautiful and good.